Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you roughly six different ways you can run an app as administrator, sometimes referred to as an elevated command prompt, but pretty much everybody calls it run as admin. Now, if you haven't done it before, the simplest way to do it is a right click on any executable and in your start menu. So let's see. Let's right click. That's an executable that starts the program and click run as administrator. Most people will always see the user account control unless you disabled it, which is not recommended. And you can do the same thing with your start menu. So go start, Google Chrome, for example, more, run as administrator. So there you go. That covers, for the most part, the right click context menu and the most common way to do it. Now, keyboard shortcuts is a little lesser known one. I wanted to throw this in here because it's cool. Let's see here. Press Control and Shift and then Enter. So what we're going to do is highlight whatever you want to run. And it might work in Start too. I'm not sure. Press Control Shift. And once you hold those down, press Enter and it'll pop up. So here we go. Control Shift, Enter. And there you go. Run as admin. You click Yes. And you're all set. Pretty cool, right? All right. How about the run dialog? And that's going to be used less, mostly because you got to know the path to the file. But if you press the Windows key plus R, the run dialog comes up. Now, one of the reasons I mention this is if you do the command prompt from the run dialog a lot, the control shift and enter works again. So we have the run dialog up. I'm going to press and hold control shift and press enter. And that's kind of neat because you're right into administrator. Of course, obviously, the command prompt, you could do it a lot of different ways. But that's a neat little shortcut if you use it that way. File Explorer. If you're already in File Explorer, like as I am here with CCleaner Portable, for example, once you click on the executable, the Manage Application Tool shows up. All you got to do is click Application Tools, and there's your Run as Administrator. That's it. So... We're getting there. Task Manager. Once again, kind of like the command prompt, you're less likely to use it. So Control Shift Escape, press all three keys. And your task manager will come up if it looks like this. Click more details. And all you gotta do here is click file, run a new task. Now once again, you gotta know the path to it. But if you're in task manager, you want to jump to the command prompt, all you gotta do is click it here. And really it doesn't matter what you run, as long as you know the path it'll give you this option to create it with administrative privileges. Not the friendliest way going, but hey, it's a way. All right, next up, this is kind of important. Let's say you got an app, you run it all the time, and you always want it to run with administrative privileges. If you have a shortcut, you're going to actually click on Advance and then check a box that says Run as Administrator. That's it. But most of the time, when you're looking at apps and executables, you want to right-click and do Properties. Click on the Compatibility tab and run this program as administrator right here. And if you click on OK, now this is always going to run as administrator. And you don't have to do the right click over and over and over again. I kind of like that. That's a uh, pretty neat way to do it. So there you have it. That's roughly six ways. There's a couple other ways. There's a registry which is probably one of the dumbest things I've ever seen. You have to actually create a new key. Then you've got to create a 32-bit D word for every single one you want to do. And then you got to modify the price. It's just ridiculous. There's one other way too, but you know, it's Windows. So, But really these six, which technically if you break it down, seven, eight different ways, you know, if you have a problem with one way of it working, then go ahead and try the other. But one of these is going to work for you. So there you have it, guys. How to run an app as administrator in Windows 10, bottom right corner. Major Geeks logo pops up. Click on that. You can subscribe. Click like if we helped you out. Any questions, leave a comment. We'll get back to you. Thanks for watching as always. See ya.